Let's get back to the basic concept of applying graphical transformations on sounds. For that I'm going to pick up the patcher from episode 5 from the Create Sounds with Jitter playlist. I'll remove the effects chooser so we can start afresh. What I'd like to take on this time is applying pseudo color transformations on our sounds as images. Pseudo coloring is the process of applying color to grayscale images by mapping luminance to the red, green and blue channels by applying some mapping function. By varying the mapping function slightly, subtle differences in the grayscale images uh, are emphasized. You can see this stuff in action on any airport security x-ray. So extracting the subtleties of our sound uh, using pseudo color imaging, let's try it out. First we are going to need to convert our float32 grayscale matrix to a 4-plane ARGB one. Uh, let's open up uh, a new sub patch and first shift the values in the matrix uh, up to a range of 0 to 1 from minus 1 to 1 to avoid any transformation errors. Now we can plug it into a one-plane uh, char matrix, but we need to provide a second inlet to get hold of the actual matrix dimensions. Eventually we're packing the same matrix three times as red, green and blue planes. Next, we're going to implement the actual mapping. As I want to expose some UI objects, I'm going to do this in a B patcher, for which I create a new patcher file called sudo color mapper. First, we need an idea of what our mapping function should look like. To demonstrate this, I'm going to use an absolute cosine function um, that is a cosine with the negative lobes flipped to the positive side. Thus, we can generate interesting overlapping mappings with just uh, two parameters, uh, the cosine frequency and the offset. Let's use jit.export to achieve that. We generate the appropriate expression using uh, sprintf and this lengthy uh, string here. Uh, using Bondo, we make sure that every change to either frequency or offset will trigger a change. Now let's uh, visualize the transfer function using jit.graph. For that we need to first cast everything back to a float and set the jit.graph's range accordingly from 0 to 1. This will only yield colored images, however, if we apply a different color channel uh, to every channel, and that's exactly uh, what we're going to do. We duplicate this uh, transfer function generator twice and pack everything into an ERGB mapping matrix, which is needed uh, by the jit.char map to operate. Um, this object is at the heart of our map patch because it maps 256 uh, point input data according to you guessed it, a four-plane ARGB matrix containing our mapping functions. All that is left to do is generate in and outlets for our B patcher and set up the presentation mode.
For the last step of our transformation, we uh, take the difference of both mapped images using JIT dot minus, which is a shortcut for JIT dot op uh, at op minus. And afterwards, convert back to a grayscale image using JIT.RGB to Luma. After that, uh, let's cast back the data type to float32 using another JIT.matrix. Finally, we need to uh, plug our transformed image uh, back into the right transformation subpager. But uh, since that is a CPU hungry operation, let's uh, put in a JIT change object between it to forward uh, JIT matrices only uh, when they change. Now, a problem with this approach is that the computed sample values will all be positive, um, amounting to a DC offset, uh, which isn't good for our speakers. A simple strategy I took here is to insert a hypers filter before playing back our transformed sound uh, to the sound card. So let's explore that a little. As, as you can see, and here, warping around uh, our transfer functions so that they are close but not uh, congruent gives the most interesting results. <laughs> 